What's up, everybody? This is a spare with a gun. Back with another episode of How to Train Your Turtle. Um, today we are going to go over um my plan for um, painting the construction foam floor down in my basement area. And um, I mentioned it before in the last episode that um, I was planning on doing this via turtle. Um, and I had two turtles set up. I actually had to... I started writing the scripts on two other turtles, um, which I think I put... Yeah, there are those down there other than rafts in the middle. Um, but I ended up figuring out that I actually didn't have... I had um, a crafty turtle with a pickaxe, and then I had the inventory turtle with a glowstone, which... <laughs> it turns out that the crafty turtle doesn't need to break anything, but the... Uh, inventory one did so um this is a very 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 specific setup by the way um this isn't like for any any type of other projects i've made these two turtles specifically for this um i made a inventory module and a mining and a pick for that so it's an inventory what did it call it it is a inventory mining turtle. The reason for this is with the inventory module, you can actually pick and choose um, where you want to put things. And this goes very well with the crafting turtle, which basically the crafting turtle will work like a big crafting bench. So, you know, if I wanted to do... Um, for example, say this is sticks. If I wanted to do a pickaxe, you'd do here, here, and then you know your your other stuff. There. Wait. Oh, it was yeah, it was running. It's running the script. My bad. Um. So well, let's do it this way then. You know, you could you could put it like what am I doing? Like that, for example, and then you could tell it to craft, um, and it'll do so. The only thing with this is it's very specific. Like, I don't, like, if you had, say, these are your sapphires or diamonds or whatever, and then these are your two sticks. If you had f two sticks and two sticks and then two of each, it would make two pickaxes. But, or I think it would anyway, I've never tried it before, but the thing is, like, if you had something else in here like this, and that's just bone meal, and you tell it to craft, it won't do anything. Because it has to have just the items. You can put more than one of each item in, but you have to have just the items in the correct shape and all that for crafting, otherwise it won't know what to do. Um, or, or so the wiki says. I've never actually experimented with it all that much. Um, but I do have a basic script set up. All you need for the, the painter and the... And, um, uh, basically, okay, just to recap real quick so that you understand my thought process. What's going to happen is this turtle right here um, is going to go along my floor and uh, down the basement that's made out of construction foam. I'm going to put the painter in this slot and it's going along it's going to go along and say paint or uh, place down which uh, I think I mentioned this in the last episode if you put anything in the inventory and you tell it to place but it's not like a block that you can place down it'll simulate a right click which the paint roller you right click and it paints the floor if it's construction foam or whatever so basically he's just going to go along and go paint 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 blah 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 but when place equals false, right? What's going to happen is then that means this is empty because these have a durability. But when the durability breaks, they just become a default painter that is out of paint. Basically, it, uh, you don't have to recraft them. You just have to re, you know, put more paint on the brush, which yeah, makes sense. And all you need to do to do that, um, this one obviously has paint on it, but you would do. Okay, well, for example, we'll just do that. So this won't work now. Like, I, I took the paint off of it, so it wouldn't paint even if there was. It's a dry roller. So what you do is then you can put something like this, whatever color. This could be dye, whatever. And it will paint it. Or it'll, it'll put paint on it. 
So that's basically what this guy's for. This guy's going to roll along and paint when he runs out. Um, I was originally going to have him turn around in place, but the turtles place in a southern direction, I think. So, well, for example, let's find out. It, um, turtles, when they place something, though, um, it only works in a certain direction. See, like, it's south, it's facing south. But if I were to tell him to go like this... Wait, or, oh my gosh, these turtles are really screwy right now. I'm, I'm lagging a bit. Um, yeah, see, when I place him down this way, he's facing that way. And without doing a whole bunch of direction code and everything, there's no way for me to really know which direction this guy's facing, so which way this one needs to turn back so that it's facing him. So, because basically what's going to happen is he's going to place this guy, and what I want to do is have the painter here, and then this is just going to be full of stacks of bone meal, is the idea. Because he's not going to, well... I might leave one open for picking up torches or whatever along the floor. Um, I'm going to borrow that code, I think, from the other turtle scripts that I've written. Um, or I, I might revise it if I can find a faster way to do it. I'm not sure yet. But the idea is that he's going to go through until he can't paint anymore. He's going to basically... The, the alternative that I had... Um, was that he'll move up, place this guy beneath him like this, and it'll just be a place down. This guy will do his crafting stuff and then do a place up, or drop up, and it'll drop it back. It, it will essentially drop the filled roller back into slot one, and then he'll do a dig down and pick the other one up, and it'll go back into, you know, another slot. Um, so, I think... I think this guy's done. Um, as you can see, he's automatically running already. I, I did a... Um, uh, I edited his startup to where... Um, if I don't know if I showed you or not if you can do this, but you can do a startup to where it just does shell.run and then the name of the program. Um, and that way, you don't have any startup code on your disks or other computers. It's just, you know, you can tell it to run for this one. So we'll do, and I did this for craft paint roller is probably the, the syntax that I'll use for the crafty turtle is, is C for crafting and then what are you crafting. Um, this one's pretty simple. All it does is it's basically going to run this as soon as he places it down. So it's going to check and say, while the item count of slot 1 or slot 2 are equal to 0. Um, just to show you all that. So it's and then do, and it's going to sleep for a second. So basically, while these two slots are empty, or one of them, one or both are empty, it's just going to wait. It's just going to check every second. And then when, um, when it's done, or when, it, when something's in both of these slots, a.k.a. the painter and a bone meal, then it's going to craft, which, as I said, it duplicates what's in this window, which was side by side. It'll craft, so the bone meal goes away and you're left with a full paint roller. Then it's going to drop up. Whoop! You know. Um, oops. I don't want to save that. Anyway. And then it's going to drop it back up into this guy. So now the paint roller goes back to this. So I think, I think this guy's done, and he doesn't need any fuel or anything because he doesn't move. Um... You just drop him. I wasn't quite done with this guy's yet. I got the basic functionality done of um, it moving around and such. Um, I think I... Oh, it's in the... Um, it's in the disk. It's in the disk for... Paint floor. That's what it is. So... Um, M, edit, disk, paint, floor. Okay. No, oh, what the crap? This thing is so weird. It's, it's, like, dupes out the turtles and drops them. So this is what I have so far. 
And at the moment it works, but it just, I did a quick um, loop thing so that it would just run um, until it ran out, but it wasn't really, I didn't take into account torches or, you know, a user made input or anything like that, um, which I'll need to do. But I was just testing it to see if it would work, and essentially all I did, like this I'll probably turn into a function, actually, because all this could be a paint function or something. Um, and all it does is it wraps the peripheral for um, the right, which is the module. I don't particularly know if this is required, or if it just is overloaded functions, but you see here, because turtles already have a turtle dot drop down function, so I think the peripheral needs to be wrapped, and then you can just call the peripherals drop down, because the way that the inventory module uh, attachment piece works is it gives you a bunch of different drop commands, like drop down, um, uh, pull is another, like get, I don't remember the name of the function, but there's like a get function or something. Um, actually, do I have, I don't think I did it. Um, I'm, oh, excuse me, one thing real quick that I'm going to show you, I don't really remember if I showed this or not. Um, but I'm going to do a quick um, get commands script so that you can find out for yourself um, what the commands are for the turtles. Um, and basically all I'm going to do is make a table and say peripheral dot get methods and then tell it what side, which is right. And now I'm going to print and use the text utilities and serialize it so it thinks it's a string and then put the table in there. Right? Quick little script, but it'll um, it's not pretty, but it gets the job done. Um, it'll show you all the commands that are available for the peripheral at the specified side, which in this case is the right. It doesn't really explain them, it just tells you what's available. Um, so see how it has a drop down um, and stuff like that. There's also a get item, get item down, all that stuff. Drop sneaky. I don't remember exactly what that does. Um, suck up. Uh, so there's a bunch of different commands um, that operate similar to the turtle API. That turtle has a drop down and stuff. Um, so I wasn't sure if it needs to or not, but it works. But basically the way that the inventory modules drop functions and stuff work is instead of telling it um, just a, an amount, this first slot or first argument is actually the slot number that you want it to go into. Um, so for example, a crafting bench would be 0 through 8, um, and it would be, you know, um, 0, 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Basically, you know, you're 3 by 3. Um, so it basically lets you interact with the inventory um, of whatever is adjacent to it very precisely. And so as you can see here, turtle select 1, it's going to select the paintbrush, and then drop down, it's going to drop it into the first slot, and then the next argument is how many. So obviously I only want one since there's only one paintbrush. Then it selects slot two, which again, this was a quick and dirty script just to test it out and see if it would work. But what we're going to do here is actually um, kind of make it a hybrid that we're going to pull some scripts from our fill floor and um, the what other scripts do I need? I don't know, but some of our other ones where I, I implemented that shift system where if the one slot was low, then it would fill it from another slot. Um, I'm going to pull probably the script for if there's a light in its way to pick it up and place it back down and all that good stuff. Um, just things like that. Um, but I think I might have an actual better way of doing that than the last script that I did, so I may write it, rewrite it from scratch. I'm not sure. Um, but this is a quick and dirty version, so 
it selects slot 2, which will be bone meal, and then it drops it into slot 1 and drops one of them. And then what it does... Okay, well, let me back up. First part is if turtle doesn't place, meaning it can't paint. And the first question is going to be, well, why can't it paint? And since I'm going to put in places, uh, placeholders so that it can't... Um, It'll basically only be if it's um, uh, run out of paint, not if, because it may not be that it, like, I can't talk. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm going to set this up so that if it's not painting, it's because it's out of paint. I don't know why it was so hard for me to say that before. Not because whatever it's on is in construction foam, but that it's out of paint. So if it's not able to paint, then it selects the 16th slot, which is this one, which is where this little guy is going to be. Right? It's going to move up, place him down, then it's going to select the paintbrush, drop it, select the bone meal and drop it. And again, there will be a code in here that will resupply this slot um, with bone meal from the rest of the inventory and check to see if it's completely out or not. You know, all that good stuff. Um, and then it's going to wait. So while the first slot is equal to zero, it hasn't gotten the paintbrush back, so it's going to sleep for a second and check to see. And it'll check it again. I put this line here too to where once turtle's uh, slot one item is isn't equal to zero meaning it got the paintbrush back it still waits for a second anyway because i was getting some mess ups but I, now that i i looked at the code again i realized that it was on this dig down line that wasn't working because it didn't have a mining pick <laughs> um it had a glowstone which as we all know a glowstone does not work very well for picking up a turtle um so i don't really think i need that there anymore um actually okay uh, let's set that Okay, so it sleeps while it doesn't have the brush. When it gets the brush, it selects the back slot again, or the back right slot, and then digs down to pick the crafting turtle back up, and then it moves down. Um, the reason I chose a crafting turtle is because without a redstone engine or anything like that, I don't think I could use an auto crafting table or a crafting bench. I think the only way for it to work is for a crafting turtle to actually go, okay, I've got the items, I'm going to craft this now. Um, so I did it that way. And then it moves back down so that it's back on the ground floor, uh, selects slot one again, and then it would loop back and keep going. Um, if it can place, meaning it can paint, and then this all returns false, um, then it just moves forward was my test script. But again, this will be... I'm thinking this will all be in a function, and then I'll have an actual main loop that goes through based on how many squares you told it to go, and all that good stuff. Because actually, if you... I, I don't know. I'm thinking I want to do user arguments for how far to go, because that would give you more control over, you know... Um, if this part's still scaffolding and I haven't foamed it yet, but this section is, then I only want it to go this far, blah, 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 blah. And without a um, item sorter to check the item ID number, there's no way for it to check, oh, I can't place, but there's paint in the paintbrush. Because for that, um, you'd have to compare the painter ID number to see if it was empty or if it was equal to a bone meal paintbrush or, you know, all that all that what whatnot. And without an item sorter or interactive sorter, I don't think that's doable. So the easiest way is just do user input and say, I want to go this far and this far. And by the person, you should just make sure that it's all construction foam. And then, you know, it will see that if it can't paint, then, oh, it must be out of paint. Um, so I am... Let's see. I don't... I don't really want to um, code it on that. 
I would like to figure out if any of you are aware of... Um, I would assume that if you're watching these, it's because you want to learn about turtles and computer craft and stuff, so you probably wouldn't know this already. But if any of you are aware already, um, yeah, is there... I don't know if there's a way to actually type out here on this. Like, right-click on it, type or put it where I want it, and then just type in and edit that way, or if I always have to keep clicking on the computer over there. If there is a way to do that, please let me know, because it would I'd much rather edit on this big old screen as opposed to the little tiny one, but, you know, whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and work... Wait. What is... Oh! Um, disk, right. Okay, hello. So, let's work on... I don't think I'll need the UE function in here. Well... I... I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to work on this a little bit off camera. And then I will come back and show you what progress that I have made. Because, um... I'll be honest. I, I started using Notepad++ for these bigger scripts that take more time. Um, as opposed to just the simple little, I want the turtle to move five spaces, you know. Um, but these big rewriting excavate and all that other kind of crap. Um, I've been using the Notepad one, and I just this this just feels like I'm 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 I don't know, man. It's just tough. Um, I don't it's I don't know. It's like the window's too small here. I can't see as much of the code as I would like. Um, so I'm going to go work on this for a minute, and I will be right back after I work on that. See you in a minute. Okay, in the back. Um, so I've been testing it. I got it working. But a little bit of good news, a little bit of bad news. So two things that I found. You'll notice these blue strips. This was me covering up where I had been testing. Um... Whoa. Dude, why is he mad? Uh, dude, I don't... I don't get it. Um, I'll talk and... Talk and find him. Whoop. Dude, where is he? Anyways. Um... <clears throat> I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck, and that's why he's suffocating or whatever. Or something. Whoa. Freaking Enderman. Oh, gosh. I hate Enderman so much. Um... So there's two problems that one is fixable, but I really don't foresee it as something that I'd really run into. Um, and that is if it's already painted the color that you wanted to paint it. So if this was already white, since I have this, the turtle can't place it down. Can't place it down again. So it will trigger whatever code you have set up for if place down equals false, which in this case is he stands up, puts the crafting turtle down, tries to refill it, but it can't refill because this isn't empty, so it, it gets kind of messy. So that's why I went back and painted all this blue, is so you don't run into that same problem. Um, so for future note, if you're going to use this exact script, then you basically want to do it without or, or making sure that you've got no tiles that it's going to walk over covered in whatever color you are wanting to paint it already. Um, so, for example, like this blue stuff, it'll paint over this with the white one. Um, but if it was already white when it got there, it would take that as I can't place down, and then it would trigger all that. The bigger bad news part that I don't think is fixable is when the turtle goes up and stupid thing and places this turtle down i tested this two or three different times and every time they just stood there and i was like what's taking you so long you should be crafting i set up the startup script and everything right and when i clicked on this guy he was missing a paintbrush and he had one less bone meal than what was in there before but when I clicked on him, for a split second, you saw the paint roller and the bone meal, and then it went bloop and made it white, and then 
dropped it back up in and everything proceeded. So that tells me after doing it three or four times that basically for whatever reason, this guy won't craft unless you're in the inventory like this. So it works. You just can't, you can't leave them basically. Like, I can't just start him up to go paint and then go walk away and do something else. I mean, I can, but he won't get a whole lot done because you'll come back and he'll have like 10 strip. Well, for example, these two right here, this one and this one that go all the way over here to these two is what a roller will do. I started this with a full one and ended up at the end of that. Oh, go away ended up at that one down there. So you can do this many, that many um, tiles before it needs to be refilled. So that's not really a whole lot. So it's basically like you kind of, I don't know, need to watch YouTube or something while you're doing this and then just every once in a while go over and click the one guy and then click out of it and let him continue because it'll do it. It just won't go very far um, without needing to refill, and it doesn't look like it'll refill unless you actually go over and click the button. Um, what I can do is we'll do a strip over there, because I'm not planning on having to do that anytime soon, and get rid of some... Well, I'll do it right now, actually. Go away, go away, go away, go away. I hate these things so much. Die, stupid slimes. I, I cannot, you have no idea, I cannot wait until all this scaffolding's done and I have floors and everything and it keeps them from spawning. Ugh. I hate those things so much. There's probably one like behind the wall or something stupid. Um. So let's let's just get get some of this out. That should be good. Oh. There. That'll that might have been a little too much, but whatever. Okay, so we'll show you what I've been using this little testing strip thing for well, testing. Thank you. Gosh, these turtles are so finicky when you got like more than one in your inventory. It's really weird. All right. So as you can see, this is a five by three. So three wide, five long. So we're going to go paint floor three by five. All right. So it'll paint. Now watch. All right. Hmm. Should have done it by now. Why hasn't he done it by now? I don't know. That's weird. Definitely should have done it by now. Click, boop, boop, boom, done. Right? So it works. It just needs you to click into the inventory for some stupid reason um, before it will actually craft anything, which I find weird. Like, what's the point of a crafting turtle if you have to click on it every time? But anyways, that's beside the point. As you can see, he did the correct dimensions and he turned and all that good stuff. Um, so, I am going to pause it really quick and get back up to my big screen so I can show it to you a little easier, and I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. Um, so, cleaned it up a little bit more and added some stuff. So, as you can see, I've got the peripheral wrap there, made a variables list, um, as we've done before, added a, a direction one. UE function, the shift function really isn't any different from the other scripts that I've shown you, exception of slot numbers. Um, I started off with slot 2 because that's where the bone meal is. It only went to 14. The reason is that 16 is going to be the um, crafting turtle, and then 15 is going to be any lights that it picks up, which I'll show in a minute. So it only goes from 3 to 14 for bone meal. Um, but it's the same that if it finds something, it returns false that it's not empty, otherwise it returns true. Um, this one is set up the crafty table. 
or Crafty Turtle, which basically selects slot 16, moves up, and then places down. Pretty simple. Um, the Get Paint one, also not too not too complicated. It uses the shift, and remember, shift returns false if it's not empty. <laughs> Excuse me. So it basically says if it's not empty, it'll also reshuffle everything um, for bone meal and whatnot. Um, so select one, drop down into the first slot like we talked about, and then select bone meal slot two because shift would have already re reorganized where this slot's full if it can be and then drop down into the second slot. Um, and if this, and then it'll return true. Otherwise, if shift returns true, meaning that it is empty, then it returns false. I know that's weird, but um, I, I, I try and think of it in terms of um, like empty. So if empty is false, then it does this stuff and then says, yes, I got paint. If empty is true, then it returns false, saying I couldn't get paint because there's no... I mean, you could change that if you wanted to. That's just my brain and how I think of it. Um, so the next one is a little bit longer. This is the actual paint function, and it says if it can't place down, which this is what trips it up if it's the same, if it's the same color, because it sees it as it can't place down. Um, which will trigger this this whole setup. So you have to be careful to make sure that wherever your turtle is going to be painting, it's not already that color. Um, so it first, if it can't place down, it sets up a, the crafty table turtle, um, and then it tries to get paint. So if get paint is true, then it waits because while the first item is equal to zero, um, it waits until it gets the paint roller back. Then it selects the 16th slot digs underneath of it, which will pick the crafting turtle back up, then moves back down, selects slot one again so it can paint again, and then places down. I did this part because, if you'll recall, up here it couldn't paint before, which means the block that it's standing on didn't get painted. So that line makes sure that, okay, I've got a full brush now, so paint the one I'm on, and then it returns true. Um, otherwise, if it couldn't get paint, then it selects slot 16, picks up the crafting turtle, and then returns false, saying I couldn't paint because I couldn't get paint, etc. Um, and then if turtle.placedown equals true to begin with, which would trigger this else sequence, it just returns true, saying yes, I got to paint below. Now comes the like tricky part. This was the more complicated setup. Um, this might make the episode a little bit longer, but I'm going to try and run through it anyway. Um, this is similar to all of our other scripts that we've done with equals 1 and then goes until it hit X, uh, length equals 2 and then goes until it hits Z. We did the 2 again because we're starting in the perimeter, as you saw down in the uh, basement. So it tries to paint. If paint is true, so it painted the block below it, um, and it doesn't detect anything in front of it, then it does the um, try to move forward if it can, attack, wait, try again, all that stuff from our other scripts. Um, and then after it moves forward, it checks slot 15 to see if there's anything in it, um, and, like it picked up a light on the loop before. If it did, then it turns around, selects the slot, places the light back, and then selects the brush again, and then makes a UE again. Um, and then, so this is if it doesn't detect anything. If it does detect something, it selects slot 15, it picks it up, and then goes back to the brush, and then moves forward again. So how this translates is that if it rolls up to a, a light, it'll trigger this one. It says, nope, there's a light there. So instead of doing this part, right, it picks it up into slot 15, moves forward, okay? Then on the next loop, when it gets back up here, it paints, it doesn't see anything in front of it, moves forward, and then it checks slot 15, goes, yep, I have something, turns back around, places it where it was before, and turns back around. So it, it was my alternative to the way I did it before, where I had a Boolean, or a numerical value on how many spaces away. This seemed like it was simpler just to do an alternate um, else sequence if it does detect something. 
Um, now, the else here is that if paint didn't work, right? So if that first if conditional of trying to paint returns false, it means it's out, right? So in that case, it returns this, which will print please refill. It tries to shift the items again. Um, if shift is equal to true, meaning it still can't find any, it's returning f uh, true, meaning I'm empty. Then it waits for 15 seconds and tries this again. Um, this is basically, I cut this out of one of my fill floor scripts, I think. Um, so it'll basically just wait until you give it more bone meal, is all. This will end the length loop, so if it gets down here, then it is on the last block of however long you told it to go. And in that case, the last block, it's going to stop right here because of the way we have it set up, but it's not going to have painted it. So it's going to, tr so I set up one last sequence where if, if paint returns false, then it asks you to refill it. But otherwise, if it returned true, it's just going to move on, but it will have painted the floor much like the move forward um, commands. So that takes care of painting the last block that you're on. Now we go into the turn sequence, which is very similar to all of the other um, excavate and all that other one that I showed you before, where if it's not on the last uh, column, then it does a directional check to see which way it's already facing based on the rows. It turns one way, moves forward if it can, and then turns... Oop, whoa, 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 wrong button. Um, and then turns again so that it's lined up. So it gets here, turns, moves, turns, basically. Um, and I didn't really set up a uh, um, a dig, like detect if there's a, a light right here or anything, because of two things. One, this isn't an excavate command, so I doubt I will have. Al I mean, I'm, I will have already cleared out the area, so I doubt there'll be anything. And also. Um, I don't recall ever putting a light on the very edge, like here along the wall. It was always further in so that I could maximize the light level. Um, but keep that in mind if you decide to use this script for yourself, is that you either need to add a sequence here where it checks for something and picks it up and does all that other stuff like before so that your lights get placed back in the same spot, or just make sure that you don't have any lights on the last area of how far you told it to go. So if you tell it to go from here and go one, two, three, four, make sure that fourth row and this first row, both of the very edges of your room are completely cleared of lights, um, or you'll need to add something in here. I didn't do it because I wasn't really thinking about it, to be honest, but I don't think it'll be a problem for me. Um, but uh, it's something to keep in mind if you decide to use this script yourself, um, is to make sure this row and your first row is clear or add something in there where it'll pick up the lights. Um, you can pretty much copy, um, you could probably just copy this one up here um, that checks, you know, and, and picks up and then tries again later and all that stuff, um, but that's up to you. Uh, dang it. Um... So yeah, the only the only two things that you really have to make sure of is the first and last columns are clear of lights. Um, uh, as far as width goes, uh, the length will take care of itself, but the width needs to be clear. Um, and that none of the area that it will be painting is already painted of the same color you're giving it. And the last thing is that you'll have to periodically check it and click the... If you come across it and it's sitting on top of the crafty turtle, you'll have to click it and help it craft. You just have to click it, I guess. I don't know. I, I still don't understand the point of that. If, if the turtle is supposed to be like an auto-crafting table, I would think it would just craft without your help, but it's not doing it until I click on it, unless it's just a me thing. Um, I know the game's been acting a little weird past couple days, like, um, uh, I used a blue paint roller and it turned empty, and then I tried to refill it and it turned empty again, and I logged back in and I had a full blue one, so... Um, and you've seen firsthand these turtles, you know, I pick one up and I get them both and stuff, so... Um, it's been doing some screwy stuff that might just be me that has to click on the crafty one and 
help it out. Um, if it is, uh, let me know, because I find that to be incredibly weird. Um, but if you encounter the same thing, just know that all you have to do is click on it, and it'll just craft right in front of you like you saw when I ran the demo thing. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it for this episode. I think next episode I will probably be working on a script that's going to clear out the, the walls of my basement um, of minerals and ores before I put all the scaffolding up. Um, but... That's something that I wanted to work on just so I don't have to do it all by hand. Um, but yeah, uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, give it a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!